In this next section, we'll be covering how to add new items into your system. This video will focus more on adding new and unique products in manually using the new item tool. From within Lightspeed, you would want to navigate to your inventory, and in this particular area, you'll be able to then go to new item to build a new and unique product. For any product that comes in multiple colors, sizes, or other variations, you would likely want to build a matrix. When it comes to building a new item from within Lightspeed, there are certain fields you would ideally want to fill when adding a new product. The first is the description. This field will allow you to add the name of the product into the system, which will be visible on your sales as well as on all your reports. From this point, you would also want to add in a default price. This is going to be the price charged to your customers when they're purchasing the items. Below that, you would also want to add in the default cost, which will be the cost that you paid per unit for this particular product. Lastly, if you know how many units you have on hand, you can add them directly while building the item under the Add Inventory section. In addition to these fields, we highly recommend adding in an identifier for your products. If your products are already barcoded or have a code associated, you'll be able to enter these identifiers into Lightspeed System to use those very same codes. You can use the UPC or Universal Product Code, the EAN or European Article Number, as well as the two custom SKU fields to add existing identifiers in with your products. If you do not have an existing ID, simply save the changes on the top left and Lightspeed will generate one for you. Once you have the basics associated with your products, there are a few additional fields that we would recommend adding. The next three fields that are most important would be the category, brand, and vendor. On the bottom left, you'll be able to click on None and change this to a category that you have already built within your system. In this case, we'll say this item goes in under Computers, Accessories, and then Mice. As for the brand, this would be the manufacturer of the product and you'll be able to start typing to either select an existing brand that you've already added or create a new one on the fly while adding your product. This would be the very same flow for your vendor, who is also the distributor for your product. This would summarize the most commonly used fields when it comes to adding your items into Lightspeed. Having said that, there are a few more details in here that we can add so let's cover them together and see exactly what they can do for you. On the bottom left, we have tags. Tags are a great way to add additional keywords or filters to your products. Already, you'll be filtering for your description, category, brand, and vendor, but if you need anything else, you can add it under the tags field. This is commonly used to add the year of the product, or you can also add seasons. To the right of this, we have automatic reordering. This is going to be a great area if we want to establish reorder points in desired inventory levels for our items. Within here, we could enter our point and desired inventory level, and this is going to calculate a need. Whenever your items fall below their reorder point, they will be added to a report in your system that will indicate that you need to order this product. On the bottom left, we have the tab to publish onto Ecom. For those of you that are using Lightspeed eCommerce, you'll be able to check off this box to publish this item onto your website and add it to that platform. Towards the top of the page, you also have the ability to add images. Within here, we can drag and drop an image file to associate it with this product. You can add up to 12 images per product within the Lightspeed system. The last area that I would like to cover is at the top of the screen. Within Lightspeed, you do have the ability to assign different item types. For the majority of your inventory, this type would be listed as single. A single item is one that you sell by individual unit within your shop. 
but there are additional types if need be. For example, the next type we have is a box. A box is an item that you would order as a case and potentially sell as the entire case or individual units. For example, if I had a case of soda, I can add it as a boxed item, but also associate it with a single product that would be one single can that I sell one at a time. Both of these would share the same inventory, which makes for easier inventory management. Below that, we have assembly items, and these are commonly used whenever you need to assemble existing products from within your retail system and sell them as a single unit. A good example of an assembly item would be a gift basket, where we're picking and choosing different items from within our system, assembling them together, and selling them at a set price. Lastly, we have non-inventory items, and these are items that you would add to your system that do not have any units or quantities associated. Any fees or charges that you need to add onto transactions would ideally be added into your system as non-inventory items. These help you track their sales history while not having any units associated or having them mixed in with your genuine assets. Lastly, we have the serialized checkbox. If you sell any items that come with serial numbers, you'll be able to check this box and this will allow you in the future to add serial numbers while selling the products. This way you'll be able to track the particular unit to the customer that is purchasing it. When you're finished, don't forget to save changes to lock in the updates to your product and save it in your system. So, to summarize, whenever you need to build a new and unique product within your system, go to the Inventory tab and then select New Item. From within this area, make sure to fill in the essentials, such as the description, default pricing, as well as the default cost. If you have existing codes, you can add them in under the IDs field, and you can add categories, brands, and vendors as a means of adding more information to your products that will assist with your reporting and general navigation within Lightspeed.